Hello students, welcome back to your science class. Do you remember what is your first chapter of science? It is life and survival of plants. So let's start the class. Plants are living things just like human beings and animals. Different types of plants grow in different places. They have different features in order to survive in those areas. So the special feature that allows a plant or animal to live in a particular place are known as adaptation. The region where a living thing lives or grows naturally is called its habitat. According to their habitat, plants can be divided into two major groups, terrestrial plants and aquatic plants. Terrestrial plants Plants that live and grow on land are called terrestrial plants. We find different kinds of plants in different regions like desert, mountain, forest and plains. These places have different soils and climate conditions. On the basis of types of soil and climate condition of a place, terrestrial plants can be categorized as follows. Plants in deserts, plants in hills or mountains, plants in masses of forest, Plants in plains. Plants in deserts. Deserts are very hot and dry regions. Very few plants grow there. Because deserts receive very little rain. To obtain water from soil and to prevent water loss, desert plants have the following features. They have very few leaves or no leaves at all. They have spine instead of leaves. Spines prevent the loss of water and thus plants retain water. In such plants which don't have leaves, photosynthesis is carried out by their green stems. Now what is photosynthesis? It is the process of making food in plants for itself. The process of photosynthesis happens in their leaves. Some plants of desert don't have leaves. They have thick and fleshy stems that can store water. They have long roots that go deep into the ground to absorb water. Some examples are Cactus Pickly pear and palm tree or dead palm. Plants in hills Plants in hilly areas and mountains adapt themselves to survive in cold conditions. They have needle-like leaves with waxy coating. They have sloping branches through which snow slides off easily. These trees have cones instead of flowers. Some examples are Cedar Fir and Pine Plants in marshes Marshy places have sticky and clay soil and plenty of water. Such areas are also called Swamps. Roots of the plants growing in masses are unable to get air. Therefore, the roots of these plants comes out of water and soil to breathe. Such roots are called breathing roots and the plants are known as mangroves. Example Sundarvan mangroves. Plants in plains. The climate in plains is neither too hot nor too cold. Plains receive moderate rainfall. Trees 
trees in this region have thin and broad leaves so that they capture a lot of sunlight to make their food. These trees seed their leaves during winter season. Some examples are Mango tree Banyan tree Neem tree and people tree. Now let's learn about the second group of plants and that is aquatic plants. Plants that live and grow in water are called aquatic plants. Aquatic plants grow in ponds, lakes, rivers, streams and oceans. There are three types of aquatic plants, floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Floating plants Floating plants float freely in water. To float easily on water, these plants have some adaptive features. They have small and light bodies that can float, for example, Wolfia, Duckweed. Remember, Wolfia is the smallest flower on earth. Some plants have spongy and air filled stems. This makes them light enough to float easily. For example, Hyacinth, Fixed Plants. These plants have roots that are fixed to the bottom of ponds, but most of their vegetation is above water. They have long, hollow, flexible stems with broad and flat leaves that float on the surface of water. The upper surface of their leaves have a waxy coating and stomata to absorb air. Example Lotus underwater plants. These plants remain completely submerged in water. They have narrow and thin leaves and flexible stems that offer little resistance to the water currents. They breathe through their body surface and do not have stomata. For example, Hydrilla and Tape Grass. Apart from terrestrial plants and aquatic plants, there are some special categories of plants, parasitic plants and insectivorous plants. Parasitic plants Some plants can only photosynthesize only by partially and cannot produce all the food it needs by itself. They attach to the host plant to derive food. These plants are called parasitic plants. For example, Cascata or Amarbe Insectivorous plants. There are some plants that eat insects. They trap insects by their help of their special designed leaves. They derive nutrients from the insects that they trap. These insect eating plants are called insectivorous plants. For example, Venus flytrap and pitcher plant. So, student, now tell me what you have learned about groups of plants. Thank you.